How oh, good? We're doing it again. We're cooking stuff again. I almost killed myself last time. Food just hasn't been the same since. Doosh! Puppy. They're in puppy jail. Puppy jail. Puppy jail. We're gonna make cake. We're gonna make cake. We're gonna make cake. Ah! In case you don't know, having puppies means you can't have nice things anymore. Exhibit A. Exhibit B. Trust me, there's a lot of exhibit B. Exhibit C. I, I don't know if you can see that there's like a few dark bits. That's you peeing. That was you peeing everywhere. Oh, but it's okay. It's a good boy. Exhibit D. That's a tea towel, by the way, just being high up because uh, Cooper's found out how to jump onto the side. And um, we've thrown about eight away in about three days. And exhibit E through H. We don't really own the garden anymore. They do. Oh, good. Good. Ah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Filming this video might be hard because every time I stand near the work surface, this happens. So in case you've never seen one of these videos before, uh, I just kind of make things, food things. I'm not very good at it. This is uh, the scene of the crime from a Twitter video I put up about two weeks ago when I tried to make a cake for my mum's birthday. <laughs> It may have looked terrible, but she liked it. She also cried, but I think I think there were tears of joy. I think good tears. So here's a recipe I'm gonna follow. It's on BBC Good Food. It's pretty simple to make, and I will probably fuck it up. Let's go. Icing sugar, flour, more flour, chocolate, caster sugar, gin, <laughs> pink gin with the girls. <laughs> Butter. Some milk. Have we got enough milk? Oh my god, I hope so. Ah, uh, you can see how much preparation I always do for these videos. For those of you who are watching in the future, we're currently on week like at least 58 of lockdown. And so everyone just wants to bake. And because my cooking videos are the only kind of reliable ones online, apart from Pioneer Woman, I'll give her that. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how to do it. I think we got everything. We just need the eggs or oh, vanilla extract which I bought because I'm bougie as fuck. Oh, and cocoa powder. Now I'm guessing that uh, just just Cadbury's hot chocolate cocoa powder works-ish. I mean, it worked last time. Oh shit, did that break? Oh fuck. Can you two stop trying to eat each other? I'm trying to film. Or carry on, that's fine, that's fine. No, just carry on, it's fine, it's fine. So we got a butter the base of two uh, sandwich tins for the cake. I don't think I have some, so we're just we're just gonna put them in bowls. We're just gonna use a bowl. It'd be fine. Maybe this is why I went wrong last time. Eggs, silver, raisin flour, cocoa powder, uh, baking powder, which I don't have. So we're not gonna use it. It's it's not gonna kill anyone unless it does. Does it? Does baking does baking powder kill people? Just realized uh, it's almost nine o'clock. We cannot miss this. There is no way. There's no way I'm missing that. Let's find some kind of. Oh, this looks awful. I'm really sorry, but every wall's covered looks like this. So I guess we're gonna use these. That's a cake tin, but this definitely isn't. We're getting the scales, boys. I don't even know what this cupboard is. Don't ask. We haven't touched this since we moved in a year ago. Just don't ask. Wash your hands for at least two seconds. That's the government advice. 200 grams of caster sugar. Look, you, this is, it's cast, no, 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 ah, oh, no. Come on lads, 200 grams of caster sugar for the lads. Well guessed, into the bowl, which is probably too small. 200 grams of self-raising flour. Oh my God, I'm gonna trip over these dogs. I'm just gonna guesstimate this one again and then look when it's too late. Cool, I think we even might probably get, I don't know. Let's be honest, it's not gonna go well. This bowl is already a little bit too full. You boys are being banished. Banished to the shadow realm. My girlfriend's probably gonna crucify me for this because she's really good at bacon. And uh, I'm probably doing everything wrong. Okay, so the recipe says two and that's three. So let's just do another half for good luck. Skip the butter. That's like 200 grams, right? It's that easy, huh? It's that easy. Oh uh, shit. Uh, I fucked the scale up, lads. I, I'm just guessing that's enough. Probably too much, if anything. Go in. Oh shit. I mean, that's a 500 gram tub and there's like half of it. Whatever. <gasps> Ooh, the pantry. A bit of salt to pinch later. Oh, this bowl is too small. Listen, who listens to like how many spoons or whatever of stuff? Just, just, just free ball it, man. Okay, so two tablespoons of milk, half a teaspoon of this bad boy. Ooh, 
Look at that. Why does every recipe have this in? Like, would it taste dramatically different if it didn't have it in? It's only half a teaspoon. I guess you'll never know. Wait, it said use softened butter, and I didn't really soften it. Oh god, it's gonna be so hard to mix. Why did I use a bowl this small? I mean, it's comically small, so I guess it works. The so last time I did this, I used three eggs, and uh, it was still quite moist, so oh shit. See, I wish I was making these little mistakes for like the comedic value of it all, but I'm really not. It, I'm, I'm just, oh fuck me. That's how all of them looked. Just, I'll just do, use the clip of that one and just repeat it three times. Who let the dogs out? Who? 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 No, seriously, who let you out? I'm home alone. I'm a little bit scared right now. Oh, I almost forgot a pinch of pale salt. Pale. Pale salt. I don't know. Let's just do that a few times. Mix, mix, mix in our home. Oh, look at that butter. Look at that clob of butter there. That's not going to mix in everything. That's not going to mix in anything, is it? Good, 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 good. Listen guys, I know it's a tough time for all of us, even me, in my penthouse. It's just a really tough time. I mean, I've got my family here, also a personal assistant, also a dog walker and a, a personal trainer, and I've got a swimming pool also, but it's just a real tough time for me staying at home. I also haven't watched Breaking Bad, Star Wars, or Family Guy, so I've got a lot to catch up on, you know, but it is kind of a tough time right now. <laughs> just none of the wet bits are actually, like, meeting any of the flour. Or, sh or sugar. This is good. This is good. But half the cake mix has jumped ship, so I mean, I guess it's going to be a healthy cake, so I won't actually be much in it. Oh, we've got a preheat the oven. A little bit more milk. That's all. Oh, that's too much milk. Mmm. Food poisoning. Whenever I order a cookie dough, at, like Weather Spoons or like a dessert, re dessert. What, what am I saying? I can't afford to eat a dessert restaurant, and neither can my friends. Whenever I go to order, the cookie dough, there's always this conversation about how we can get salmonella from it. Like why would, they wouldn't serve it if you could get salmonella from it. Oh my God, this is hard to stir, man. Let's put some manpower into it. No, it's people power. Equal rights in the knockout wolf videos. Get off my finger. Well, this is going bad, but I'm getting bored of this camera angle. So let's switch. Wow, aren't I insufferable? This is starting to look a bit more like a cake mix right now. I mean, I'm still like folding it over and I'm seeing huge bits of just untouched flour and sugar, but ugh. little fun tip if it gets on your fingers is to lick it and hope you don't die from eating raw egg. Yeah, guys, remember to stay safe and stay at home during the lockdown and eat lots of raw cake batter. Probably won't get a virus of any kind, but you may get salmonella. Get bits off the side. These dogs. It's like half nine at night and I just rock in like nobody's business. Hey, hey, that's not looking too bad, apart from the clumps of butter in it, but I'm sure that's okay. Oh shit, the dogs have gone upstairs. They're gonna steal my socks. Get out. Okay, no, you go first. You go first, I insist. Okay, considering I've been battling with the dogs, fighting on my feet, I don't think that's looking too bad. Oh, where are we going? Please don't edit this. We've also got to try and make the buttercream. So we've got to melt the chocolate. Uh, sir, every 30 seconds, that sounds like a lot of effort. Electric beaters, Pff, who do they think we are? Come on, man. See, I think this is where I fucked up last time because I just couldn't get them out of the tins and I just ended up having to chop off a lot of the cake. Oh no, I haven't buttered the tin. Fuck, no. God damn it, God damn it. Cool, okay, so we're trying this again with butter in a tin this time. I'm gonna spread it out evenly, hopefully. I'm well aware this, this bowl is a little bit taller and probably wider than it needs to be, but um, oh, look at that. I'm gonna chuck it in here. I think that's probably about as much as I'm gonna get out of the bowl. You know what they say, more raw cake mix for me to eat. Mm. Salmonella squad. Oh my God, I can't stop. Oh my God. <laughs> oink, oink. <laughs> okay, so let's put these bad boys in the oven. Don't worry, Angus, you're not going in there. Okay, come on, Cooper, let's go. I better watch this, because I've been licking it. Uh, you may be able to social distance in the household, but not if it's in a cake. Done. All clean. Remember, kids, when washing up, remember, no soap, cold water only. Spick and span. Oh, no, it says line the bases of baking parchment. I haven't got that. And it's a bit late now. I put it in the friggin' oven. Better put the timer on, otherwise I will forget. Let's melt the butter. Bolio. Just chop some up. Oh my god, I'm gonna slip and cut my hand open. The dogs are totally here for this. Into the microwave. It's gonna give us radiation poisoning. Got one of those cool old style microwaves where you literally just go. And we're good, baby. We're good, baby. That's not melted at all. Pretty much the rest of this butter's gonna go in here, I think. Health queen. There we go. We'll leave a little bit for toast tomorrow. Oh, oh, I'm getting attacked by dogs. Oh, oh my gosh. Now we're gonna measure ice and sugar so we can make the buttercream. As Tony Montana says, 
That's a lot of ice and sugar. I've never actually seen Scarface. I don't even know he sounds like that. Oh boy, we're melting. Okay, kind of got a bit carried away and the butter is slightly melted, but probably doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, I don't know. Okay, another thought for hygiene reasons. Shrill as the timer hasn't been working for the, uh, the cake until I picked it up. So, um, I don't really know how long it's been in for. Got a machine under the table. Sorry, Dan DeVito, Coop wasn't a fan of that one. The icing sugar to butter ratio seems off, but uh, I won't complain, BBC. I think if anybody's gonna critique a recipe, it's probably not me. This actually does look like mashed potatoes. Probably tastes a lot nicer. <laughs> Voila, you don't even need to put it on a cake, just eat it like that, it's good. So now we're sifting in five tablespoons of this, this, I mean, it's hot chocolate powder. What else can I say? I think I'm actually using the whole tin. Good. It's a good job I don't want hot chocolate tonight. Another pinch of salt, and by that, it's just as much as I want, I guess. Two tablespoons of the old milk, and this is a dessert. Oh my god, that's lots. It happens every time. It's not even a meme. It just happens. And a melted chocolate. Ooh, yeah. Wop, 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 wop. Poor Marvin Gaye. He was just horny, man. Again, I don't think I'm going to get much more of this out of the bowl, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna test the cake. Oh my god. Oh, this one is rising up a lot And it's still very gooey in the middle. Good. This one however is Pretty dry in the middle. I think this top one's done. This one's just a bit bigger. Oh, that's good. Yeah, boys Ooh, look at that. So smooth. Tss, ow. So now we're gonna mix this up with the buttercream to make the chocolate icing for the cake. When I made this cake for my mom's birthday a couple weeks ago, I used this like Cadbury's pre-made fudge icing. It was pretty good to be honest, but the whole cake just tasted like that little finger of fudge. That's what the whole cake tastes like. I guess people are panic baking a little bit less as, as the lockdown goes on. Hence why we were able to get stuff like icing sugar. However, after this video goes live, I don't know. Supermarkets, watch out. That's looking good. Ooh, baby. Ooh, moment of truth. I just put a knife in the other part of the cake and it's still really gooey on the inside, which I'm kind of worried about. I'm not gonna lie. The rest of this is basically just saying, once it's cooled down, chuck the buttercream on the cake and then you can make these chocolate shard things on top, which I made last time. They were pretty good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let that cool down, that cook a little bit more, and that to stay sexy. I'll be back. Generic vlogger transition. Whoa! I don't know what I said before the transition, so we're just gonna carry on. Okay, we're gonna check. This one again. Is it still raw? No, good. Sick. It's ready. We have to wait for that one to cool for like another 10 minutes before we can get it out. Now this part is kind of where it fell apart last time I tried this because I couldn't get it out of the cake tin. So I guess we'll see how it goes. It's usually all going well to this moment. I reckon the middle's gonna be stuck. That's the thing. I need a plate. Okay, okay. Moment of truth. <gasps> oh my, oh my God. <laughs> no way. I need to pose next to it. Wonderful! We did it. We made it. Oh my, I can't believe it! Holy crap! I can actually like, pick it up and throw it. Proud dad moment. Except it's me making a cake. I'm just gonna chop up literally like 50 grams of white chocolate so we can make these shards that go on top of it. It looks pretty cool and it tastes banging. Hi, yeah, it's me. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. I fucked this next part up. I fucked the shards up so much. I don't know what was going through my head. But we did, and it's happened, right? Okay, I'm sure you're all going, ha, 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 no surprises, ha, ha. Yeah, I got your laughs out now, but I'm just gonna save both me and you a whole lot of time by just skipping over it, all right? I melted, spread it on. We're gonna open up the oven, chuck this in, and then Cooper's gonna join. Oh no, that looks like sugar that's burning. Cool. Ah, that's not good. Come to think of it, I don't actually think you're meant to put it in the oven. Oh yeah, I don't know why I put it in the oven. Hmm, so this one seems a little bit more set in its ways. It, it looks kind of good. Hmm, that's not good. Okay, it's been cooling for a while now, and I don't have much time left on my camera. So I guess we're just gonna try and force it out at this point. Cause, um, oh my God. Bruh, there's no way. Oh my, I can't believe it. What the, oh my God, what the hell? Did that even work? What the hell? I mean, Let's ignore that part, but this, this is working. Yeah, maybe we should just forget about that. In the oven? Why did I put it in the oven? What the fuck? It already melted it. It's real squidgy too. We love to see it. Okay, so we're almost done. It's taken almost two hours. And it said on the website it'd only take 40 minutes, so. The puppies are sleeping in there. 
And now I'm gonna try and put the buttercream on these puppies. I'm really sorry about that. That one's still a tiny bit warm. Don't know if we should use the bottom or... I guess the bottom would be easier to... Then again, it's gonna be hard to... Oh, I don't know. I don't... Fuck it, let's just do this. Sexy music over this part, please, editor. It's funny, because I'm the editor, and when I hear myself say that when I'm editing it and it's taking so long, I'm gonna be like, fuck you, man. Fuck you. You know what? <laughs> I feel like there's a lot more buttercream than we need, but I ain't complaining. Pop this back away on top. Oh my God. Holy crap. Um, seeping out a little bit. Oh, it's slipping and sliding. Oh my God, this looks incredible. Oh fuck. This is slipping and sliding all over the place. Maybe I was meant to cut it so like the middle bit was kind of flat. I don't know. I don't bake cakes, man. <laughs> this is where it all falls apart. Probably. Oh, the cake's like falling apart in the middle. I probably should have cut this bit off. Cause it's just like... <laughs> it's just a cliff. Like a ravine in the middle with chocolate in. The cake is all falling apart. That's part, that's part, that's part. Let's try and put it back in. Go back in, please. Go back in. Pioneer woman, I'm coming for you. Well, there you have it. Knockout Wolves. Holy shit, it looks like diarrhea cake. Oh my God. It was all going so well. And now it's just like broken in the middle into like four pieces. Like there's a huge hole in the middle. The icing has just fell off. I mean, I don't think it's meant to look like that. So I'm gonna put it in the fridge and hope it sets or something overnight. I don't know how this will set. Look at it. I mean, it, it probably tastes good. Fucking hell, man. I've got to like at least try it. It's actually fallen off. Oh my God, the cake's warm. That's probably why the cake is warm. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh fuck, oh no. Oh, it's dripping, fuck. It's going in the fridge. You'll be safe in there, my friend. You'll be safe in there. Okay, well that went all right until the very last hurdle where I fucked it all up and now the cake is falling apart in the fridge. Hopefully, it sets a little bit overnight and we'll be back in the morning just, just to see what kind of monstrosity I've made. See you then. Take a wild guess at which dogs woke up at half five this morning and barked until they got out of bed. What do you have to say for yourself, huh? Oh, and you know how I mentioned how we had to throw away like eight tea towels in like three days? Well, um, I guess we can add this one to the collection. Well, it's been about 12 hours, so I guess it's time to reveal the shit show. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. It's so heavy, what the hell? Wow. It is like solid. That ain't going nowhere, Chief. I mean, if you're trying to make like a volcano of chocolate, I guess it works. But I guess the most important question is, how does it taste? So we're gonna find out. The dogs are fighting, and I hope they're fighting over which one of them gets a piece of this cake first. I feel like we've gotta try and get rid of this portion first uh, before anybody sees. Holy shit, you can't even tell that it's two cakes. <laughs> I love how the icing just overflowed everywhere, but when you cut it, there's just like the tiniest little layer. <laughs> Cause it just all squeezed out the sides instead. Ugh. Well, you can go back in there so no one sees. You're gonna have to eat this bad boy with a spoon whilst we watch Beat the Chasers, cause I missed it all last night. The actual cake looks good. I'm gonna try some of that without the icing to start with. Hmm. Hmm, it's moist, it's bouncy. Not the worst thing I've made in the world. Hmm. It's actually got a good texture. I mean, until we started doing the icing, that was actually going well. I told my girlfriend Lily what happened and she asked if I started icing the cake before it was completely cool. I shamefully said yes and she said, you can't rush bacon. Now we know. I mean, we knew before, but I was just impatient. Let's try some of this top bit, which is significantly smaller somehow now. Mm. That's genuinely good. That's like when it's birthday cake and you pretend that relatives who couldn't come really wanted to try some cake so you can take some home with you and eat it before you tell them. Ooh, mama. Well, the fact that it actually tastes good is a redeeming factor considering it kind of looks a little bit like... Yeah, exactly. You raised a valid point, Angus. Well, I'm gonna eat the rest of this cake and finish watching Beat the Chasers before I start my afternoon stream. Link in the description, little plug, little plug for you. I've started a new stream schedule and by the time this video goes out, I'll probably be on like week three or four or 18. But that's it, thanks for watching another How to Cook with me, your host Brody, otherwise known as Knockout Wolf. Remember, if you got food poisoning, you probably followed the video correctly. That's, that's the new slogan, I don't know if, if it's got a ring to it or... Subscribe! Can you boys say like and subscribe?
Ja, nagy jó, de men.